Obviously, we always start with the ratings report. And there's so, news this week. <laughs> yes, was it, there sure is news this week. So, uh, where is it here? WWE NXT gets big viewership win over Dynamite this week. Heading into summer specials for both Wednesday night shows over the next two weeks, NXT had its biggest rating success in over four months. Wow. With last night's show on the USA Network averaging 786,000 viewers. Number up 5.4% from last week. In the 18 to 49 demo, NXT averaged a .19 rating, which was actually down 5% from last Wednesday. Show finished 26th on cable in that demo. Dynamite averaged 633,000 viewers, down 18%, and the lowest number the show has ever done. Ooh, that's not good. Dynamite also had a series low with a .22 rating in 18-49, down 21.4% from last week, and 17th for the night on cable. The 0.3 difference between the two shows in 18-49 to is the closest they have been since December 18, the first and only time NXT beat Dynamite in 18-49. 153,000 viewer difference. The biggest win NXT has had to date. Individual demos much more competitive. AW usually wins every demo except persons over 50. But NXT had a huge advantage in that category again with a .42 to AW's .26. NXT also won in females 12 to 34. And the show's tied in females 18 to 49. Dynamite won every other demo. But they were much closer. AW's best category, 18 to 49, 0.29 to the 0.23. Combined audience of 1.419 million, down 7% from last week, still above the 10 week average. So, a few things. Number one, the quarters delayed. So if you're wondering how each quarter did, we won't know for a while. There's always problems at Nielsen. I don't know what's up with this place, but there were problems, so no quarter hours. And when I saw these numbers, I was shocked. I thought that NXT was a good show. I really liked the AW show. I thought that neither show was like a huge blowaway show in terms of big matches. But neither show was bad. It felt like a normal Wednesday night. And as it turns out, NXT won for only the second time ever. And they crushed them by 153,000 viewers. Now, normally, when there's anything resembling a weird number, particularly for AEW... The first thing I do is I go look at what else is on television. Was was there were, there were there riots? Was there some huge crazy thing that the president said? And was there a debate? And the answer is there was nothing. There's absolutely no no reason whatsoever on television for AEW to do, to have done what they did. So the best theory that anybody has come up with is a theory that. Well, they pulled John Moxley off the show, and they pulled some other people off the show. And in terms of star power top to bottom, it was just not a star power show. You got me. That's as good uh, an explanation as any. There was no Moxley. There was barely any Omega, barely any Cody, no Jericho to the very end, no Sammy Guevara, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, we'll cover these. I... I watch these shows on Thursdays. So by the time I started watching them, the ratings news is actually broken. And so I had that in the back of my head and, and I watched NXT. I thought, I thought NXT was great this week. Uh, and I liked AEW, but I'll, I'll, I'll spoil everyone. Now. I, I think as you go into these shows, I expect to vote for NXT by the time the show is done. Really? Well, I now expect we'll, to vote for AEW actually. We'll see how it goes. There have been many times as we've gone through these shows and uh, many other shows over the past 15 whatever years uh that my mind has been changed by the end of a program so we'll see how it goes 